Okay, well, it is 2024. Hey, Happy New Year. Happy New Year, guys. This is not technically the first video you're seeing with me and Grace this year. By this point, you will have seen a video with me, Grace, and her sister, Gabri, which was a hoot. <laughs> At the very least, if you missed it, way up there, you're going to see a link. So do check that video out. It's just a ton of laughs, maybe some crying, because some of you guys might be a little hurt by the opinions. But as usual, you have no reason to be, because it's scented liquid, and we can like what we like and dislike what we dislike. Nonetheless, we're here with our first dual video of the year. Are you ready for this? Yes. So at least once per year, I like to do this thing where I throw all of my current fragrance obsessions, so to speak, at Grace blindly. I get her opinion. I've done this in the past where I kind of wagered the status of our relationship on her liking the fragrances <laughs> I like. Jokingly, of course. I'm not doing that this time. And hopefully we just don't have to entertain that idea because she loves everything. I'm going to give her the smell. It's really not that important. Nonetheless, are you ready to sniff some <laughs> yes, fragrances? Yes, I'm so ready. I'm excited. Okay, we got 10 to smell. Let's dive right into it. These are more or less in order from freshest to darkest. Nice. Okay. I'm rating. Yes, you'll be rating 1 to 10. We'll see what you like. Mm, yeah, this one's very bright and green and a little citrus. Mm -hmm. Kind of salty in okay. a way. Okay. I'm getting like a very sea foam mm. vibe. Okay. Yeah, I like it. All right. Pretty unisex, okay. I would say. Okay, you would wear it? Yeah. Great. Um, definitely on the, the fresh green side. Mm-hmm. Let's give it a seven. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like it. A good start mm -hmm. out the gate. All right. We're just going to speed right through these and then we'll do the reveals afterwards. Have you worn this one? Uh, Around yes. Here? I think maybe once. Pretty new to the collection. I really like this one. Mm. This is also how I discover what new fragrances <laughs> I'm going to wear. <laughs> these videos. This one is a little bit more sweeter citrus than the last one. Okay. Definitely very bright. Mm -hmm. I like it even more. I'm gonna give it a seven and a half. Okay, mm -hmm. guys, we got a nice little trajectory here. <laughs> Our relationship <laughs> is doing fine, as you can see. Let's see where we end up. Mm -hmm. mm, it's better than I expected. This is interesting. I agree. I feel like there's probably bergamot or some other sharp. Something sharp about it. Citrus. Citrus. Like a fresh <laughs> citrus, bright, almost like hoppy in a way. Okay, I can see what you mean by that. Does it suit your taste as I to do. what you would like I, to smell? I do really like it. It's different than anything I've smelled, so I feel like it even it's going to win even over the other two in originality. Wow. I don't know. All three of these are excellent fresh yeah. choices. Okay. Let's also give this a seven and a half. I like it. <laughs> Moving right along. Here we are. Mmm. We're doing great, guys. Is this Gambit? This is Gambit, yeah. <laughs> so We've she already knows this, this one. We've been wearing this one a lot. Yeah. It's so much sweeter on paper. I actually prefer it on skin. We've been really liking it. It's like a very accessible, sweet, but sexy, a little like spicy in an mm -hmm. interesting way, but nothing about it is like very aggressive. It's just a nice, interesting, accessible fragrance. Yeah, I agree. And pretty unisex, honestly. Interesting, okay. I find it. Great. I find it to be fairly masculine in okay. terms of like modern mainstream releases for men, but she's worn it and it actually worked. It was fine. I would describe it the same way. It's very easy to understand, easy to wear, versatile, almost borderline like blue fragrances as people call them, but it's created with high quality materials. You yeah. can tell the composition itself is just elevated. It's not just a bunch of synthetics haphazardly thrown together to smell good, but I like it. She likes it. How would you rate it? Let's give it a seven. Okay. Yeah. I think I'd rate it higher on skin, but yes. on paper, I actually prefer the freshers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Can't wait to see what these are. Here we go. Mmm. This one smells like Coca-Cola. I could see that. Kind of a bubbly, fizzy, sweet vibe. A little warm. I don't like this one on paper. Not surprised. Okay. How would you rate it? <laughs> I'm going to give it a six. Okay. Yeah, so, it's a little on the powdery side for me. It is, it is. And I just don't like that profile. This was my first time spraying this one for you. You have smelled it from the bottle, I believe. You didn't like it. I thought maybe if I sprayed it, it would open up and kind of give itself a chance. Looks like it didn't, guys. So <laughs> that's just great. That's her taste. If you like this one, keep liking it. Mm, this is interesting. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's kind of fading on the paper. Really? 
Yeah. Your nose might be going out because it's pretty strong for me. Okay. You want me to respray it? No, maybe I'll waft it in. My nose is going out. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty present for me, but I'm not shoving everything up my nose like she is. And that is what I am most certainly <laughs> doing. That's so weird. It like totally died. Maybe really? I just need to, yeah. Maybe sniff your maybe sleeve or break. something. Yeah, it's pretty strong for me, but... Should we come back to it? No? Keep it in order? The next ones get a little stronger, so I don't know if this will get any easier. <laughs> Unless we do it now. Okay. I got it at first. Yeah, and then it just kind of died. Like disappeared. Okay. I mean, I like what I can smell. I just couldn't necessarily read profile or notes like super got it. strongly. But since I'm not being judged on notes, no. we're just going to say, yeah, it's great. Seven. <laughs> That's fair. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. You may have been smelling the wrong side. Oh, really? Try that side. That might be better. <laughs> yeah, that's better. <laughs> Sorry, user error. Yeah, it's okay. I may have given it to you wrong. Yeah, it's like weird. It keeps disappearing. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. You want to stick with seven? Yeah. All right. Putting the <laughs> nose to work. This is not the best way to sample fragrances, guys. By the way, you, yeah, your nose is not meant to just smell on end everything. Olfactory fatigue is what we call it. Mm. So that one comes through. This is the one you were wearing the other day. It might be. This one is pungent. Yeah, it's really Very... strong. I wore this just last night. Oh, really? This was the one I was wearing last night. So it is strong like tobacco on paper, like cigarette ash. Like that's what it smells like on paper. That doesn't sound great. <laughs> How do you feel about that? I don't feel great about it, but I think it's just the paper mixing with it because on it, skin, it was pleasant. I don't even remember it necessarily. Gabri said it smelled incensey. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember it in the air. Yeah, it's so different on paper. Very, and just up close, you know, cause you're getting everything all at once. Whereas in the air, you don't get all the elements. Right, I don't know how I feel about it. So that means you don't like it. No, <laughs> I don't not like it. I really liked it on you last night, but I don't know what to rate it. Just like paper is like, not maybe if you just spray some on your hand. No, you don't want to spray it. It'll on your it's hand. gonna be on my it'll hand until like tomorrow. Overtake it'll, everything. Yeah, okay. yeah. It, it is very strong. If you had to rate it based on how it makes you feel today, and if you can remember anything about it yesterday, <laughs> about how it made you feel. Yeah. How would you synthesize that information? I know. Seven. Seven. Yeah. You feel good about that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel unsure of my ability to synthesize no, it. That's fine. I mean seven is it's decent. I mean I mm -hmm. guess it's a little more than decent, but it's not great. Does yeah. that sound about right? Yeah, I mean I really liked it on you last night, but okay. on paper it is just not okay. delivering. We'll leave it there for now, <laughs> we'll come back. This is so sweet. This is the one that I wore, or you had me smell the other day. I don't think I've had you smell really? this one. I don't think so. This one smells so good. It's very gourmand. It smells like coffee and caramel. Mm. Just like in that warm, mm -hmm. dark. Yeah. Yeah, it smells delicious. So kind of smells like edible in a way. I like it. Rating. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Okay, so. <laughs> so I'm just like. We're just hovering. I mean, these right sounds around. like the, you know, from, from what you're getting on these, they're all. Kind of in the. Yeah, they're, they're all like decent. Great. They're above average, yeah. it sounds above like. Above average. But we got to crack eight. That's the new peak we need to mm -hmm. reach. Let's see if we can do it. This one's also pretty strong. Whoa. That face does not <laughs> look favorable. <laughs> I remember when you were wearing this one, and I asked if it was the Gucci. Mm, I vaguely remember that. Well, on paper? It's a no. Okay. This one smells like burning rubber to me. Like rubber gloves. <laughs> like latex. <laughs> <laughs> well, on skin, I like this a lot more than I like it on paper, but it sounds like you didn't love it on skin either. I don't think I did when you, I don't know if you've worn this around me. Have you worn it around I me? I think once. I don't remember when. Do you remember if I asked you if it was the Gucci? Because it reminds me of the Gucci, which I, I really don't like. And we're still working on that, guys. <laughs> I remember you commenting in some way in the typical way that you do when you don't necessarily like it. Yes. Or you just ask about it. I'm like, what are you wearing? Yeah, totally. <laughs> How would you rate it? Four. Okay, that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. I do love this one. I know. I don't know why, but I like it a lot. <laughs> but I understand why you we wouldn't like it. We can have like different it. tastes. It's yeah. important to have different tastes. Okay, so this last one is a special one. I wouldn't actually say it's one I've been obsessed with, but it's one I've been dying to get your opinion on. Okay. I hope that I don't break your <laughs> no, heart. No, no heart 
can be broken with this. This is not darker. I know. It's oh, okay. Not. It's in the wrong order. No, I just wanted it to be last. I love it. Wow. I mean, I guess compared to just the pool of darkness and abyss you've been swimming in, <laughs> <laughs> the last few fragrances, it's kind of refreshing, I'm sure. It's but. so, no, it smells amazing. Okay. It might be my favorite freshie that I've smelled today. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. Let's give it an eight. We cracked eight. We cracked it. And this was a wild card. I, again, I didn't throw this in here out of love and passion. Just curiosity. <laughs> what do you feel like you like about it? I would say it's leaning aquatic fresh in a very non-blue way. I feel like the only aquatics I'm truly drawn to are the salty ones, like the sea foamy okay. ones. I don't necessarily like the shower gel ones. So this this one to me smells that it's like green, like a tiny bit bitter, but not in a bad way, like in a good way. And then has kind of like that aromatic, yeah. salty, foamy, like sea spray. Okay. So it reminds you of the ocean. Kind of reminds me of the ocean. Got it. Yeah, I like it. Okay. We got to do the reveal. Grace was interested to go back to a couple of the earlier fragrances because her nose was kind of going out. I think there is a molecule or two that kind of shut things off for a bit. The system restarted and she came back and she was able to smell them better and thus gave them higher scores. So we'll get to those when we get there. We're talking or lower. Or lower, yeah. We did make <laughs> some changes and they're marginal, but they are worth noting. So we'll get there. But the first one up, you can go ahead and resmell that. You gave this a seven out of 10. This mm -hmm. is from Lalique. It's called Ancre Noir Sport. Cool. So we also have the extreme version, which I think you have smelled at least once or twice. I don't think I've worn it around you. Maybe we smelled it in a video or two. And I can't remember you finding it amazing, but I do think you liked it. But it sounds like you like this one even more. I, yeah, it's a kind of a, like a darker, better. resinous, inky vetiver. This is more of a fresher, citrusy, watery take on that DNA. I like it. It's a much easier wear, way more versatile. More people tend to like this one because it's just easier. All right, that's a solid seven. Here's the next one. You gave this a seven and a half. Yeah, I love this one. It smells great. It does. This is from Zerzhoff. It's called Mephisto. Delicious. Yes, this one is kind of this clean, lavender, musky, I get almost a green feel and definitely some citrus. It is known to resemble Silver Mountain Water from totally. Creed. Totally. It I has that, that kind of icy cold feel. But I, it's different. It is. It is a definite departure from that type of feel. But I could easily say if you like Silver Mountain Water, you'll probably like this. If you don't like Silver Mountain Water, you might still like this. Yeah. I think it's a little bit easier to approach, but by no means does it smell more basic or anything like that. It's just a different thing. So solid. All right. This one you gave a seven and a half. You said it smelled pretty interesting. This is a classic. This came out in the 1990s from Chanel Platinum Egoist. I have been loving this stuff. It's kind of like a metallic fougere. Okay. Has a barbershop feel. Has that fresh, spicy, woody, mossy, <laughs> slightly creamy, sweet like shaving foam vibe. When I first smelled this years ago in a store, I ran away from it. It smelled too mature for me. I've smelled it in passing here and there over the years and each time it's drawn me in more and more until I finally just had to get it. I just Ooh. wanted to add it to the collection and talk about it on the channel. So you guys have already been seeing it pop up in videos. This is a classic and I think it's worth the rating you gave it, if it's not higher. It's delicious. Yeah, and it's, it's even so better nice. on skin. Okay, next one. You already know what this is. Gambit. This is a new one to this the collection. This is a new to the collection from Mind Games. I like Mind Games from what I've experienced. I will say that a few of their fragrances have reminded me of other things slightly, but they are still their own thing. They almost have their own DNA to them, and the ingredients are without a doubt, quality. Very How, quality. Yes. However, these fragrances are very expensive. I think this 100 milliliter bottle is $375. Some people would call it overpriced. Value is going to be up to you to determine. I recommend getting a sampler set if you are interested, but high quality stuff. This one is easy to wear. It does remind me a little bit of Dior Sauvage Elixir. It's kind of in that vein, but just maybe a little bit more toned down, more tame, less rambunctious, and ultimately a little bit of a different thing. But if you're looking for a comparison, that's probably the closest thing I could draw. But this is good. I don't know why I love it. I didn't expect to love it when I first smelled it, but I've been wearing it like crazy. Grace has been loving it. She's worn it once or twice. That's one to check out, guys. That's all I can really say. Yeah. This one was a six. It's mm. the second lowest she's done with that. Yeah. This is from Zerzhoff. It's called Commandante. <laughs> 
<laughs> and this is actually like a fruity honey tobacco, like lavender vanilla feel. But it does come off pretty powdery. <laughs> she is just not, <laughs> not about it. <laughs> I get it. When I first smelled this, I was disappointed because I'm like, it smells like a basic designer scent. It smells a little bit like Armani Code, Jean Paul Gaultier Le Mans, in that vein. <laughs> but the more I smelled it, I actually, it kind of developed and grew on me. I'm like, oh, I do get that honey. I do get that tobacco. And I actually like the wearing experience, but it is powdery. And either you like powdery or you don't. Grace does hate. not like I powdery. So this one is not going to work. <laughs> I'll have to pick and choose when I wear this one. Next one. So this one was a seven. It's the one she couldn't really smell that well, but we unlocked Ooh. the system. She came back <laughs> and the rating went up a little bit. So this is an eight now. Yes, it smells great. Yeah, <laughs> and this is from Chris Collins. It's African Roy. Oh, I love this fragrance. Yes, I had a feeling. It's so funny she would because come this one. To it. I would say this one's a ten on skin. Like I'm obsessed. It is. I call I've this told a ten. You multiple times i was i said this is one of my favorite yes. additions to the collection yeah without I, knowing what it is i call it a 10 it was in my recent 10 out of 10 fragrances video that i think it was like 10 out of 10 fragrances you didn't know you needed this is a 10 for me and it, it is, is so for good it's so good guys honestly i i have actually told justin when he's wearing it i was like this might be my favorite fragrance that you've added it, Chris it's Collins so was generous enough to send it over, so thank you, Chris. Guys, if you haven't checked out that house, they are quality. You get every penny in that bottle on your skin. You can smell every dollar, I promise. <laughs> but sample first. And it's super unique. Yes, it's so very different. So that's kind of cool if you want to be trying something yes. different. So this one, you said was ashy cigarette. It seems like it got worse for you. She bumped the rating down to what, a six and a half? It's or... funny, now it's better. I don't know, I, I'll just have to smell it on skin. But you said so. you wore it? I wore this last night. This it is from Orman Jane. It's called Arabesque. This is their newest release. It is technically a rose oud. A little bit of fruit in there, but definitely a lot of oud. It's very natural. It smells of great quality, great blend. But I see what you mean. There is a little bit of a rub to it, a little bit of this smokiness. I don't know where that's coming from. There's a lot of spices in there. Maybe that could be contributing, but I think it smells pretty luxurious, but it is quite strong. It leaves a really strong trail. So but beautiful. It is a beautiful, it's a beautiful opulent sillage. scent for sure. Yeah, and you were wearing it last night and it smelled amazing. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love it. I'll keep wearing it. I'll give it another try. I think I wore three sprays, which honestly could have been a little too much. And I know that because I was smelling it around me for hours. And when I can smell it nonstop, I think it's too much because I don't want to. But it wasn't projecting off of I'm me glad. that much. Well, yeah. Then maybe not. We'll go with it. It was, three. yeah. Here's the next one. Oh, yeah. This was the gourmand one. Yes. This one you said it smelled super gourmand. She gave it a seven and a half. This is the newest from day three. You remember day three? Yeah. Midnight Whisper. There's one that she's yeah. worn a lot. I love Ambar Dominicano. La Tacita this is de a Cafe cool house. is great. Yeah, they're based out of Arizona. This one is their newest called Philosophia. And I do believe it is a tobacco scent. Maybe there's some coffee in there. There's lots of vanilla, hazelnut, oh, chocolate. chocolate, tobacco, cardamom. And it's a great wearing experience. It's pretty dark, it is succulent. It is inviting, but I think the tobacco, there's something in there that adds just the right amount of texture to where you don't smell completely like a sweet snack. You know, it does smell <laughs> like a fragrance, which is great. All right, <laughs> second to last. Oh yeah. So this one was a four out of 10. <laughs> this is one of the newest releases from Adamo Parfum, and most of them have been hits for you. Yeah. This is number five, numero song. I think is what they call it. And I think this is like an animalic leather. There's like a rough, kind of rubbery leather. I would totally agree with you on the fact that it is rough. Yeah, there's some leather. There's lots of oud, chocolate, coffee, sandalwood, tonka bean. So there's a balance of elements where it's like, yeah, we have some inviting elements and some really kind of grab you by the nose and ring you out elements. <laughs> but it is heavy on the oud and leather, especially up close. I'd say maybe less in the air, but you smelled it in the air and she still didn't love it when I wore it. So maybe I'll give it <laughs> one spray in the winter to see how it does and it won't be overwhelming, but I like it. But number four is really great. I know you You've actually worn number yeah. four, and I love that one too. I've worn a bunch of their other ones. And yeah, I think we have one and two 
mm-hmm. as well. We don't have number three. One and two are also very good. So they're a house to check out, guys, if you haven't already. We're going to have a link and maybe a discount code of some kind to them down below. Last one. This was the curiosity choice. Yes, the freshie and at the end. This was also an eight. So we had two eights. Yes. Between this and the Chris Collins, if you had to pick Chris Collins or this. Oh, Chris Collins. Okay. Yeah. So we know Chris Collins would break Chris that Chris Collins tie. is a 10. I yeah. just didn't know exactly. that it was Chris Collins. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and this one is just a decant from our friends at DecantX of the brand new controversial release from Creed Absolute Aventus. This fragrance swept the community when it came out. Lots of mixed reviews on it. Interesting. Mainly because of the price. Oh. I think it was the price that really affected people's reviews. I think it's almost $600 retail. It's popping up on this counter a little cheap right now. Yes, and it only comes in a 75 milliliter size, a limited quantity. Beautiful bottle, like piano black, shiny. The cap is nice and metal everything's blacked out does it, it just smell like a ventus though not just like a ventus no it is pretty different it is a nice departure i would actually call it a decent flanker as far as flankers go it is a less fresh less bright less fruity more on like the spicy woody side of things still has a bit of a fresh brightness to it, especially compared to some of these others here. A lot of the main Aventus characteristics are gone, but like the core, it's like, it still smells like Aventus to me, but it's just different. But maybe not different enough in some ways, especially for the price. I think I prefer the original Aventus. I prefer Aventus Cologne, which I don't know if you smelled that one. Earlier Flanker, I think I prefer that even more. But you know, again, it's gonna depend on what you value. It does smell good, as you guys can see. She said, man, this smells great. It smells great. So if you want to smell great, then this is a way to do it. Now, do you have to spend this much money to smell great if that's your goal? No, but you might (laughs) love the scent profile. You might have an affinity for this fragrance in particular. And if that's what it is, then go for it. If you love it, well, Uh, yeah, our clear winner is Chris Collins, African Roybo. So guys, check this out, please. If you care about grace's opinion which i know most of you do probably more than mine then (laughs) listen to her she's got a i'm obsessed (laughs) she's got a nose guys she really does and it's getting better and better so grace thank you for joining us thank you for lending your olfactory if you guys have not yet subscribed by now anyway moving on (laughs) thank you guys so much for tuning in peace we'll see you in the next one